Now, today I want to show you <coughs> about these airbag modules that I've been working on for the last couple of months and I can't get to the bottom of this car. So, what I done was I went to a, a scrap yard and I went and got this module here. Now, it's, it's called GMCC. Now, it's a totally different code, but it was just for my own curiosity. And what I managed to find along with this car that was being break, broken was the passcode. So, I don't know if you can... There it says, it says security code, and you can see that there, 9940. So that's the number I need to get into this, this airbag module or SDM module. In fact, that's the number if I was working on that car, I would need to pipe to get into the security of any of the modules. So that's that there. Security code. There's other information there, like key number. I've had to try and use that for the program in the mobiliser, and there's obviously the VIN number. But 9940 is the important one for this module. So what I've done was, <coughs> I rigged this thing up on the bench. So you can see I, I chopped the wire loom off the car I took this module from. So <coughs> two connectors on it, one's brown and one's uh, grey. So there's the brown, there's the grey. So if we look at it, well, the, the unit would be lying in the car like that. That's the way. That's the way it lies, uh, and just in front of the gear stick. So when you're pinning it out, so I had to work this out myself. So the purple, purple uh, yellow wire. That was my 12 volt supply. So I'm taking that and connecting that to my battery. And also here, I'll get back in the light, and then I'll get a close up. Your grounds. Uh, they're on the, everything's on the brown plug that you want. The one of the grounds was a, a black wire, and the other one was an orange with a, a black trace. Or is it black with an orange trace? It's either or. I'll give you a close up of the pin. So that's all I needed. It wasn't. A, it's an ignition supply on the purple wire, and it just obviously two normal grounds. Now the other thing I wanted as well was a data connector. Now this is no high speed can. On the SDM module, on the airbag module, it's called, what is it called, SW CAN. And uh, that's on these two green wires. So I had to connect them in. I got an old DLC, I think that came off a transit van. So all I had to wire in there was uh, pin, what is it again, pin 16. Is a permanent supply, so that I put that to battery positive. I didn't need to bother about 14, I think is it 14 and 6, which is can high and low. I didn't have to bother in this one. And then I had to pin 1, I had to wire in pin 1, and I had to connect it to the slow speed can. So I just used one wire, one wire. I've actually got two there at the moment, but I just had to have one so I could communicate with this module through the this, uh, the low speed can and the other wire I had to put in was pins 4 and 5 aye, 4 and 5 they're, they're grounds so that's all I had to do, so it's pin 16 was power 4 and 5 were grounds and pin 1 went to the module obviously if you're trying to talk to other modules you need to do 6 and 14 through the high speed can network but uh, this one only needed pin 1 so I'll connect it to the laptop and I'll show you how you communicate with this module. And it was just to prove to myself that in the last video I showed you, I had the wrong, I had the totally wrong code, and I can get into this module even though it's damaged and it doesn't do this car that I can get in and communicate. So I'll show you it uh, wired up on Opcom. Me now connected to Opcom, and I, I I went through this thing. I got this a wee while ago, but it just shows you what pins are active here. So 16's the power. This actually shows you about battery volts, it's, it's a good thing, 2.7. As I said, 4 and 5 are grounds, so that's shown it's got a grounds. And we're communicating on pin 1 through this uh, a DLC. And uh, I see it's actually, I'm not actually sure what it's doing, it's flashing on 8, so maybe it's trying to communicate on 8 as well, but we actually don't need that for this experiment. So I'll just show you. Let's uh, turn this round. That's me talking to the unit there. So I'll take you to the laptop now, and uh, we're going to Opcom. So we click on here, Diagnostic, 
and this is a 2007 and we choose that as a Corsa D choose that and then we're going to body choose and this is the airbag so it's STM we choose that you can see there it comes up it's on the low speed can so that's me talking to that unit there start there so I think everything's working fine so we can then go to fault codes you can see this has got a rake of fault codes this B1039 replace electronic control unit this, this unit is kaput and uh, it'll not work in it in fact when I connect I just thought I'd try it when I connected that unit to this course that we're working on with the UGI symbol it took down the whole of the CAN network and uh, it wasn't until you you disconnected it and then came back up you could talk to other modules so you knew all the CAN network was down because not only could you not talk to the airbag module you couldn't talk to any other module uh, the engine ECU or the instrument panel anything so you can see a, there's a rakey fault codes in this but that's because obviously I've just got everything open circuit there all these, the wires are hanging out so if I close that down you can then go into programming and this was about so you can go program ECU and then it's security code now that last video I couldn't get in but this one you can get in so if I just put 9940 security code accepted and then you can do show a mobiliser status or configure it or program the SDM or reset it and you can even program a new VIN so if you hit reset SDM and then you just click yes then that's a reset and it can go on another car if you like but that was just to prove to myself that uh, it wasn't this Volkscom, this Opcom unit thing that I'm using it wasn't getting access I had the, the wrong security code so the other thing I was actually going to show you was how to check uh, on this unit that you're actually getting uh, what was the CAN wires so there's a few ways you can either test it with a scope but if you've not got a scope you can test it using uh, a logic probe so I'll show you what the logic probe looks like on that two seconds so <coughs> uh, I was going to show you with a logic probe but first I'll show you with this uh, this power, power scope so it's uh, quite good for fast uh, that focusing it'll no matter but you'll hear the noise so we're, we're on this green wire which is a CAN communication which is a slow speed CAN communication network and then if you hit that you get this annoying noise but it shows that you've got a, a what do you call it a waveform so let me see if I can get you closer in on that it's a waveform that goes from 0 to 5 volts and uh, so here's a, a cheap logic probe out of Martin's in here in the UK so that's me going onto this this wire again oh dear what's happened to the light on this camera let's bring that right there so what you can do see you've got a, sim a signal there see the pulse light is flashing and it shows it's a uh, it's a low signal but that's only because it's referenced I've, I've attached my positive and negative to battery so it's it's a, a 0 to 5 volts but it only shows it's low because it's obviously lower than the 6 volts which would then make it I think it's if it goes over 6 volts it then goes up to high but uh, at least that shows you that the logic probe can uh, pick that signal up slow speed can now I'll show you the pattern on the, the very scope. So there's your reading you should get uh, using a, a normal multimeter at 2.2 volts. And I'll show you the frequency of that signal. Uh, it says it's 5 hertz. Mm, I think that's well out. And uh, there's the duty cycle. So you see that, that signal's far too fast for the multimeter on the, the CAN slow speed. So I'll show you it now with a, a logic probe. So that's the signal there. 
as displayed on the, the Veris and you can see that's uh, I'm going to be a bit closer but you can see that goes between 0 and 5 volts so if I just uh, change my let's go to 5 volts back bring that down and uh, maybe increase my time base to say 10 milliseconds well, there's 50 milliseconds too much right now but we'll go back to 10 right we'll change the time to 50 there's a good pattern 20 10 5 and back out so it gives you an idea of what the, the pattern should look like so sure can highs that will go between one and a half and three and a half and then three and a half is it two and a half and four and a half or something like that but because this is slow speed it goes between one and five I think that's everything I have to tell you anything, everything I've found out but if anybody's got any questions about these airbag modules uh, you can just ask me in the comments but hopefully that helps someone out there cheers